So today we're going to be reviewing standard algorithms. So I'm starting with my table of contents page. I'm going to add to my notes the date, and today's date is the 25th. I'm going to add standard algorithm practice. And for me, this is going to be page... This is page 10 for me. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and turn to that page. And at the top of the page, remember we use the backs of pages as well. At the top of that page, I'm going to write standard algorithm practice. And we're just going to try to um, try a few problems. Okay, so I'm going to start out with 467 times 32. Now, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is try to create a word problem based on this problem right here. When I see this multiplication sign, that means groups of. So this is saying 467 groups of 32 or 32 groups of 467. That's basically what this is. When I multiply smaller numbers, I could break it apart in groups. When I multiply 2 and 7, it's like 2 groups of 7. So this is no different. It just has bigger numbers. This multiplication sign means groups of. Okay, that's a big helper there if we're trying to create a word problem. So I'm going to create the word problem. Um, let's use um, Zade's name. Zade has 32 packs of stickers, each pack has 467 stickers. How many stickers does Zaid have in all? So now I see my numbers, the same numbers in my equation, 32, 467, here, and here. And I see that there's packs of stickers and each pack has something. So this is telling me that there are 32 packs of stickers and in each pack or each group like I talked about over here there's 467 stickers so that means I have to multiply those two numbers because it wants to know in all how many stickers does Zade have okay so if I think about my first step for multiplying with standard algorithm I'm going to multiply my ones place first so two is in the ones place in my bottom number that's the number I start with. And 7 is in the ones place for my top number. So 2 times 7 is 14. Put my 4 here, and my 1 gets carried over to the next place value. Now my second step is to multiply my bottom number 1's place, which is 2, because that's in the ones place in the bottom number, times my top number 10's place. Well, if I look at my top number, what's in the tens place? Six is. So I'm going to multiply two times six. Two times six is 12, plus one more is 13. So I'm going to put a three here, and I'm going to carry my other one over here because I have to add whatever number I carried over. Now my next step for standard algorithm, multiply my bottom number ones place, so the two is still in the ones place at the bottom, times my top number hundreds place. Now, top number in the hundreds place is 4, so I have 2 times 4, okay? 2 times 4 is 8, and I've got to add my carried over number, plus one more is 9. So I have 934 as my first partial product. Now, I'm going to check off this little 2 because I've dealt with him. I've done, I've finished that out. Um, I'm done with the ones place. I'm going to cross out my carried numbers that I used first so that I don't get them confused if I have to carry more numbers later. Now I'm moving over to the tens place, and since I'm moving to the tens place, I need to put a zero 
below the 4 right here because technically I'm multiplying everything by 30 because I'm in the tens place and 3 in the tens place is worth 30. So I'm going to multiply my tens place times my ones place in my top number. So bottom number tens place times a ones place in my top number. 3 times 7 is 21. So I put a 1 down here and I carry a 2 in my next place value over. Now I multiply my bottom number tens place times my top number tens place. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 more is 20. So I put a 0 here and carry my 2 in the next place value. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 more is 14. So I put all of my 14 there because I don't have any more place values to carry over to. Now I'm going to add these two partial products. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. 9 plus 0 is 9. 4 and nothing is 4 and 1 and nothing is 1. So I end up with 14,944. So the answer over here to my word problem is 14,944 stickers. Now we're going to take a look at another problem. Okay. Mrs. Greg has 26 packs of copy paper. in her classroom. Each pack of copy paper has 329 pages. How many pages of copy paper does Mrs. Greg have? So again, if I think about this problem, even if I think about it with cubes, right? Circle my important math numbers, 26, 329. Underline my question. How many pages of copy paper does Miss Greg have? Box my key math action words. I see each pack, and I see she has packs. Okay, so I see that there's 26 packs, and each pack has 329 pages. Okay, now I need to evaluate what I need to do. Since I have packs, I know my groups, I have 26 groups or 26 packs. And I know that there's 329 in each group or 329 in each pack. So that means I need to multiply these two numbers because I'm thinking of groups of something. Okay. If I'm going to multiply these two numbers, that means I'm going to come down here and do 329 times 26. And I've evaluated what I need to do. So for standard algorithm, the first thing I'm doing is 6 times 9. 6 times 9 is 54. You can use your 9's trick if you're not sure about that fact. I carry my 5 over in the next place value. 6 times 2, bottom number 1's place, top number 10's place, is 12. Add 5 more and I get 17. 6 times 3 is 18. Add 1 more and I get 19. Okay. I check off my six because I've used it and I mark out the numbers that I carried. Now I'm in my tens place. When I go to my tens place, I need a zero down here because really I'm multiplying by 20. Okay, and that zero helps make it that value. So two times nine is 18. Put my eight down here and carry my one. Two times two is four plus one more is five. Okay, 
2 times 3 is 6. Now I need to add my two partial products. 4 plus 0 is 4. 7 plus 8. Okay, that's 15. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 5 more is 15. And 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 6 more is 8. So I end up with 8,554. So the answer to this question would be 8,554 pages of copy paper. Okay. Now I have a problem that I would like for you to try to create a word problem for and then solve. Okay. The problem is 525 times 42. I want you to create a word problem for that and then I want you to solve it in your notebooks and tomorrow I'll be checking that you created your word problem or I tried to create a word problem and that you've solved it in your notebooks. Remember this multiplication sign means groups of. Remember to use your steps for how to multiply with standard algorithm. Those should be in your notes um, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. I'll be asking for the classmate's name that I used in my first word problem example on these notes today. Oh, that's my special question for tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.